What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Brit. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany. And today I am shooting a weekend vlog. I chose the most awkward time, first off, to start a vlog. It is 5 o'clock almost. It's like 4.45. And I'm in rush hour traffic trying to tell y'all what's going on. But y'all know the story of my life at this point. I braid all the time and I try to play in between. So that's what's going on. I've been doing hair all day. Then I had to rush and get my life together. And now I'm meeting my friend out to the spot called Tiki Tango to have drinks and dinner and kind of like kick it and stuff. My friend Danielle, y'all have seen her on this channel before briefly. Hopefully I get more of her today. But her birthday is November 16th, Tuesday, November 16th. And today is Friday the 12th. And um, we worked together, we were co-workers before our friends. And so um, we have pretty much the same work schedule and Fridays are just a mutual day where we both have free time to get together. So today was just the perfect day for us to link up. So after I got business out of the way, I told her I would get dressed and meet up with her. So that's what we're doing. I'm just sitting in bumper to bumper traffic, y'all. That's what's going on right now. Her and I have reservations at 5.30. Again, it's like 4.45. So I'm hoping we make it in time. But Tiki Tango is like a jumping spot. It's all over TikTok. Danielle found it on TikTok first and told me that's something she wanted to do on her birthday. And it seemed like ever since she told me about it, I've been hearing about it nonstop. I have a couple of clients and a friend who recently went there um, that's just been ranting and raving about it. So I'm excited to go, of course, with it being called Tiki Tango. Y'all know it's like Hawaiian vibes or like Caribbean style vibes. Um, it's a three level type lounge. Each floor has its own different vibe or scenario going on. So I'm excited to experience it with my friend and see what's going on. Catch up again, have a little drink, and get out in, in these ATL streets. So, I'm not gonna talk for too long, y'all. I need to focus on what's going on, but I didn't have a chance to kick off the vlog before leaving the house. So, I decided while I'm sitting here and traffic is moving like snails, these cars are moving like snails, should I say, I would come say hello and let y'all know what's going on. It is a weekend vlog, and we out having fun today. So, stay tuned for the shenanigans. Tiki Tango was such a cute spot, y'all. Now, I will say they don't have a lot of menu options to choose from. It's an appetizer-style um, menu with about seven or eight options, but it's not a sit-down restaurant. It's more of like a lounge, which we were not aware. It is a whole nightclub, a three-level club with about five bars split between the levels. So in my opinion, to have a lounge with five bars, the highlight of Tiki Tango is their drinks and they were amazing. And after we left Tiki Tango, we just decided to walk around downtown and see what they had in the surrounding areas. Beautiful night. We're just walking the strip. Huh? The Christmas light on the trees. Yeah. One crack timber! <laughs> Not timber. <laughs> Not timber. After a while, I'm just gonna fire Publix because why can I never just walk straight up to the line? I be wanting to go places and be the only person in line. And it's never that. Even through drive through I wanna ride up to Chick-fil-A wherever and be the only person in line. And I be having to wait. But it's not that bad today. It's only two people ahead of me, so hopefully they moving pretty quickly. A uh, boar's head, please. This is so 
Thank you. Have a good one. Now I am at Smoothie King. Talk about lines, and they got one too. It's like three cars ahead of me. If this line don't start moving in the next couple of seconds, I'm just gonna jump out of line and go home. Cause right now I'm just doing the most, trying to get food from two different places. But I did grab these little um, drinks out of Publix. I got a mango lemonade. I got the regular old fashioned lemonade. I got a couple of their teas. And I could make like a little Arnold Palmer at home. Get me a big cup of ice and just mix up my little drinks. I wanted a smoothie today, a little booster, but this line not moving, so I might just take my little sub and my little drinks and go home. Yeah, why is this line not moving? I'm not understanding. And then they inside not open, because I don't mind jumping out the car and running inside about no smoothie now, but they um only taking drive through orders right now. So I'm going to give it like two more seconds, minutes, I meant. And then I'm going to head home. Oh, y'all know what I could get? It's a boba spot right up here. Y'all know what I'm finna get? I'm finna go get me some boba. Forget that. Yeah, I'm about to go to Gong Cha, however you say it, and just get me some boba tea. And I'll save my lemonades and stuff for later. It'll just be like little juice to drink on in the house. But while I'm out, I was craving something with a straw. You know, like something I could just... Okay, y'all, we at Gong Cha, however you say it. And I done brought y'all in here before because, again, I love this place. So, let's get some boba. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. I really ended up with the best of both worlds by going to Gong Cha because I got a smoothie. But I got my boba at the bottom, y'all. Mango on mango. So okay, y'all. So I'm about to start Danielle's little birthday strawberries. I think I told y'all earlier in the vlog that my friend wanted me to do her some chocolate covered strawberries. And I'm not going to show the whole process. There will be other videos, other times for stuff like that. And I already have two videos doing treats on my channel already. Um, but I just wanted to talk to y'all about the importance of organizing your supplies. My stuff is in these little bins. I have like two bins of like event planning stuff with um, all of my sprinkles and treat decor and stuff and so with it being in these bins my issue is when my spending habits come from me not seeing my stuff so basically if i don't see it in my mind i don't have it unless i can you know look in and see it and when i first peeked in this bin i didn't see my iridescent white glitter so i went and ordered some now, i love the lux cake uh lux cake glitter so i'm still gonna use it but y'all i already had white glitter I have a full one I never opened, one that's halfway full, and I, and I have a bunch of these little side packs to refill the containers when they get empty. Um, and that just came from digging this out. I was looking for my chocolate mold so that I can, um, that's full of sprinkles and stuff. I gotta wash that real good. But I was digging for this so I can um, make her a little saying that either says birthday diva or happy birthday. And I came across my glitter. So I need to get like clear containers or better containers to house my sprinkles and treat decor stuff in. So I'm not spending money on stuff I already have. Then yeah, when I make treats for her, she doesn't like the chocolate molds that come in party city i can put them on the screen now the, the regular ones that come in walmart that you would mold that already come pre-colored in different colors she don't like the way it tastes she likes the actual chocolate chips to be melted so i have to get her the white chocolate chips and because i'm getting her the actual white chocolate chips of course that stuff doesn't come with um coloring in it so i had to go get food coloring because i didn't have any green and the only colors they had at kroger were i went in Publix for the uh strawberries and they didn't have any food coloring left and then i went in kroger and they only had neon green i wasn't going to walmart today i, I do too much when i'm in walmart 
I got these from Shein. This is a 200 pack. I got about 15 to 20 left. I'm making Danielle a dozen, so this is more than enough to infuse her strawberries with. And then Publix only had the strawberries with the tops cut off. Normally, they had a whole little package of strawberries, but these were in like their fruit salad section where you grab like the little snack packs on the go. And these already have the tops and leaves removed. So Danielle's stuff is in the fridge. Her strawberries are in the fridge. I showed y'all a couple like brief clips of how they turned out. Um, I had a hard time working with the chocolate chips. I told y'all Danielle doesn't like the pre-colored um, melted chocolate things that you get out of the party store or like Walmart and stuff. She likes the actual chocolate chips. So I still struggle with working with food coloring and getting the consistency right because I don't always use chocolate chips. I be using the, I take the easy way out. So they turned out okay. Um, it was giving Christmas vibes with the green and white. It made me excited to do Christmas treats and stuff. But I think she's really going to like them. If not anything, even if she don't feel like the presentation is all the way there with the colors and the way the food coloring turned out, the flavor is definitely there because I made her a dozen, but I made 15 in total and I ate three. So they're good. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all real quick what I got her. I'm in the process of doing a few gifts right now. But I'm going to only show y'all Danielle stuff because this weekend that I just vlogged, I hung out with her and celebrated her birthday. And then my sister Tan and my friend Kay, hopefully next weekend I'll be celebrating their birthdays. Their birthdays have already passed. Tan's birthday is actually today while I'm filming. And Kay's birthday was last month. But she been out of town. I'll do a weekend vlog next weekend when I hang out with them. Um, and then I'll do like a continuation right now on camera. I'm about to package up everything. So I'm going to show y'all everything. But what I'll do is end the video off with me showing Danielle stuff in the very beginning of next weekend's vlog. The beginning of that, y'all will see me in these same clothes, y'all, because I'm filming it all in one day. But I'll show y'all in the next vlog what I got them because, um... I don't want them to see it before they get it. So I got her these makeup brushes. I'm not even going to say the name because I don't know how to pronounce it. Ayo Longley. Ayo Longley. Either way, it's the rose gold um, sparkly brushes I got off Amazon. That was gift one. The other Amazon gift is on the way, but I cannot say what it is because I'm end up giving it to her for Christmas. And she's going to watch this. Then I wanted to get her like a briefcase type bag. So I went and found the Steve Madden bag. I was debating between a book bag and like a briefcase. Because like I said, she's a YouTuber as well. She creates content. She's also a college student. So I wanted something that was really cute and dainty, but also classy and professional. But it has different compartments in it. Honestly, it could be used as like a toiletry bag honestly it was over in that section but i feel like she could put her stuff in here and be able to see it her cords and charges whatever she want to use it for but in my opinion it's giving briefcase vibes maybe it's a travel bag y'all but when i seen it <laughs> i was i was looking at it like it was a laptop case or a briefcase then i got her this container it'll go it makes sense with her other gift that hasn't came yet but um i ordered the makeup brushes like i say she does beauty content and um i got her one of these for like her whole little beauty room setup at home she has a room like strictly for filming and beauty purposes so you can't never have too much organization equipment so i got her one of these big elite multi-organizers and um she could put either brushes and combs for when she do her wig reviews or she can put makeup brushes whatever she wants so yeah, that's mostly Danielle stuff. I wanted to get her one other thing. Well, I did. I wanted her to have one other thing, but it didn't make it in time, unfortunately. So I'm just going to give it to her for Christmas. Um, and then while I was out running errands um, and some of the plazas I was going in, getting different stuff, I ended up going in Party City. Y'all, I have a fetish for napkins. I don't know if it's my mama or what that's uh, taking over me. <laughs> but um, instead of like putting paper towel in the bathroom, like a paper towel roll, my mama be putting folded napkins in there. So now I didn't got into the habit of wanting to put folded napkins in my restroom. And y'all know I got like a black girl magic bathroom. So... I'll be wanting to have stuff that make my clients feel good when they walk in. 
Um, so I have these napkins that say, keep it pretty, please. So they can dry their hands on that. You get a 16 pack out of Party City for like $2.99. Y'all, right now I'm just showing y'all random stuff. <laughs> but um, in case y'all, like it's holiday season. So in case y'all having a girls night or y'all having a family over and y'all want some real cute napkins. It's way many. I should have blocked in Party City their napkin selection. But y'all can go in there and get stuff for the home. And um, what was I going to say? For an affordable price. So check out their napkin selection, y'all. I got these. It's a 16 pack for $2.99. And then I got these that say, wash your hands. And at the bottom it says, no seriously. Wash your hands. No seriously. So I got a 16 pack of those. I just went through some other ones. I forgot what they said. Something about smile. And they were yellow. But um, got some new napkins for my clients. They're going to go through them within a matter of a couple of days. But they're just really, really cute. So I thought that I would share that with y'all. But that sums up today's vlog, y'all. I know it was a little bit all over the place. I didn't really know going into the weekend. Other than going to Tiki Tango, I didn't really know what the rest of the weekend was going to consist of. Because I wanted to try to vlog myself outside of doing braiding this weekend and next weekend. Um, try not to pick up the camera when I'm braiding and give y'all some other stuff. And then pick back up with braided vlogs maybe later this month, later in the month. But, but, um, yeah, I'll show y'all the stuff I got for Kate and Tan in the beginning of next week's vlog. And that's that, y'all. Excuse the sweatshirt. Y'all know I'm a Rihanna fanatic. That's not how I'm feeling about y'all right now. It's just I couldn't resist this sweatshirt. It's been my favorite sweatshirt for about six years. I got it off Amazon, by the way, if anyone's interested. Oh, and if y'all have any suggestions about face discoloration, let me know. I didn't went to dermatologists in my life or whatever. They didn't told me different things. None of that stuff works. But whenever the season changes, my skin gets really dry, my face peels. If I do like a, a switch up in the soaps I use on my face, I get this pink discoloration look and also with hair, like using different hair, no matter how much I wash it, discoloration in my face. So if y'all have any skincare tips, leave them down in the comments. I don't mind, but I definitely wanted to throw that out there in case anybody is concerned. Yes, I'm aware my face is, it just gets like these light spots all up in it. So that's what's going on in today's vlog, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next video and we'll pick up where we left off right here today. So see y'all in a few days. <laughs>